Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are y'all doing today? Is the camera looking a bit dark there? No, we're looking good. Looking no, good. looking nice. I'm just not used to being able to see my body on a stream. <laughs> I think that's the problem. Normally I have my, my floaty green top on. How are y'all doing today, folks? Hello, hope, guys. Hope you're doing good. Here with Pontus again. Nice to see you. Yes, Pontus will be teaching us how to play Generation Zero. Won't you, oh, Pontus? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much the opposite, I'd say. Yes. We'll see. So I just, I just like that was a mental yes in my head, <laughs> not just like cold, cold at yes, you're bad. No. Um, so oh, but I'm, I, I'm pretty bad at this. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we doing today? I, the thing is, I've said this to these folks before in the past. There, there is no demand on us to be good. We're just here to provide them all the juicy information that they want to get. So that's the important thing. Yeah, that's um, true. Today, I guess, check your mission log, and then we'll. Yeah. Hit you pee. got your special bindings. Oh, no, you changed the <laughs> bindings. My bindings are default bindings, I have, you know. Yeah. Um, hello. We had that discussion before. Lots of hellos in chat. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Tenebri, Ulf, Mr. Dreads. Um, yeah, so we should have some, some map Doritos as well. Yeah, we? first I'm going to get that. Yeah. I've been a bit coldy these last few days, so... Please excuse me if I'm a bit coffee. This, this might, this camera does, does look like we could use a little bit more light. Maybe I'm just being, maybe it's just my pale complexion. We'll see. Um. So yeah. So today Pontus is playing on my save again. So you know. So we're not doing things from the very start once again. Um. Hopefully we'll see if we can get off this island with the main one. Hey, did uh, see any robots here? Machines? Yeah, I got like not robots, combat, machines. but no. <laughs> still I'm alone. <laughs> Sneaky one. Yeah. Oh well. I'm gonna keep oh I can hear them. Better run. Let me see how I also get any game sounds. Bump this up a little bit. Thanks. Uh, turn the heads up over here. <coughs> there we go. Are the Generation Jury team from Sveria? We are in fact in Stockholm, Sweden. Pontus we is are. A Swede. Royal Södermalm. I'm a Swede on paper, um, but yes, studio is in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, the team is the you know we have an international team, but I say like mostly Swedes. Uh, I'm gonna just fiddle with this uh, camera for a second, see if I can tweak. camera here. I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. But Pon Pontus, you're looking great. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I always do, though, right? I need to get some tanning hours. I wonder if I can expense that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you come across a beacon, I see. Bravely close there. Uh, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I know my distance. <laughs> Please add use of pistols when biking so you can do a drive-by. I guess, like... Light light weapons? That could be pretty neat. Oh, look at the moon over there, just floating on the sky. Yeah, like. but good luck aiming from a bike, though. Th yeah, I'd probably see your accuracy would not be very good. So early right now I'm from, it's like 4 a.m. Where are you talking to us from, Richard? And I appreciate the commitment. Do every machine respawn at load or only specifics and the odd random wanderer? So, Mad Beaver, everything is saved as it was when you logged out last time. It's not like new ones are instantly generated. It's kind of persistent in that respect. Yeah, so, so yeah. if you shoot like a leg off, will mm. it uh, stay blown off or yeah. how if does it work? Anything, any damage you do to machines will remain. So if you say shot a runner and blew off its armor panels and for some reason the fight was too much, you run away and you decide to come back to the same spot with some more weaponry, that same runner will be stood there waiting for you. Uh, was a patch from a few days ago on Xbox One. Can't find the update notes. Uh, that was some general uh, crash fixing. Um, so there was no in-depth notes for that one, but that was just general crash improvements across the board. So hopefully, uh, those of you who were having difficulties with that should see a lot of improvements there. Shoot the shotgun off the run, it will charge you. No, Baz, that's mean. I, I d no. I try not to shoot the weapons off when I can, because that's when they do their jumpy uh, yeah. scariness. Yeah, that hurts a lot. Yes. What is the aim of this game? To have fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> primarily. I, it's a tricky question, because the aim is... To survive. It is what you make of it in a lot of respects, isn't it? I mean, 
you of course we do have the missions which pull you through the world but if you are the kind of person that would rather just go out and explore you can do that um, Blow if you stuff up. just want to run around blowing stuff up, which is like me playing GTA at any time <laughs> ever, I'm like, I'm going to do the story. Nope, it just evolves yeah, into luck. explosions. Um, so yeah, I mean, of, at its core, it is a story-driven single-player co-op game, but you can kind of be loose around how you play it so that way. Can you make spawn rate of hunters less? There are 4 to 6 hunters spawning every time you get into combat. Richard, make sure you don't have any of those flying robots around for too long. Or machines, sorry. Uh, seekers, they will summon them back up, which might be what you're suffering from. This this particular hunter here on the bridge is always happy just to sit there and uh, plink at you from range. Just removing his limbs. That's good though, now he can't shoot at you. He just has his stabby thing left. Cunning strats from Pontus here. Yeah. Surgical. Oof. Yeah, that particular yeah, one on the bridge, he's doctor. normally pretty chill. He's happy to ha stand there and shoot. Um, oh, no. What's that down in the water there? Yeah, that's what I was looking at. So I cannot oh, it's a tank. It what is. are you doing down there, tank? Should it be there? <laughs> tank went paddling. You know, that's what they do for recreation when they're in between uh, murdering the entirety of the human race. They just chill out in the water. Um, will there be a headquarters to the robots? We will see, but we'll see. Hello, I know you can not give details. Give us the vision the team sees the future of the game in general terms. Steampunk Pagan, I will not give you specifics now, mainly because in quite the new future, we actually want to go into that in a little bit more detail. So watch this space. Uh, of course, we do have a vision of what we have. A lot of it is based upon what you folks as a community are feeding back to us. But of course, we have our plans for the game as well. So more on that uh, will be coming quite soon. Hey, Shadow Format, welcome, welcome. Pontus looks like one of the characters in the game. Yeah? Mm. Which one? I don't know. If you press P, get a profile. That one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I used to have hair like this. Uh, Graham. Well, well, almost, anyway. Did you? You had, you had long hair? Yeah. Oh, okay. Tash is looking exquisite, fine, sir. Well, it, it, the intention is it will be a beard this exquisite, but this, is, I kid you not, is like a full month's worth of growth, so it's being slowly cultivated. Uh, wifey would not be pleased with just a Tash alone, that's for sure. Which is a shame. I did like Magnum P.I. as I was growing up as a kid. Did you ever watch that? Yeah, I did. Dun, I did. Dun, 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 Maybe you should go for a soul patch. A soul patch? No. <laughs> uh, no. No. Maybe My wife has strong opinions. Goatee. Wife has strong opinions about that facial hair, that's for sure. <laughs> um... Mm -mm. What did I miss from Tenebri? You can't shoot the arm blade off, sadly. No, you cannot. No. That would be kind of... It would be a fun way of having, like, a pet hunter, though, wouldn't it? You just, like, shoot its limbs off, and it just has to, like, follow you around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that uh. would be fun, though. <laughs> just get an army of limbless hunters chasing you around the map. Will you remove ticks from houses to defeat the option of finding health from the ticks to remove your health? Uh, good feedback, Raf Sakael. I mean, they were added based on feedback that people felt that they wanted more of the experience of visiting houses and they felt that it was a bit bland just checking into buildings and no danger so they were added to address that but you of course bring very good feedback that you don't want it to be a net loss by exploring so we can definitely take that on board um Tenebri says he bet you would rock the scrunchie <laughs> i reckon you could get a good top knot going there yeah, yeah 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 we could try it out have you many square enix games in your library um Personally speaking, not so much, actually. Except, of course, the ones that we worked on, <laughs> or rather the AAA side of the studio. Um, hi, Graham. Pontus, how are you? I'm doing great. Doing r really well. Nice. It's a lovely day. Mm -hmm. ba -ba -ba. So, yeah, again, today uh, it's just going to be some, you know... Some gameplay, hanging out with you folks, answering your questions, getting some quality community manager, community FaceTime. Uh, next week is when we start to show you some goodies that are coming in the next update, which will be the wittingly titled September Update. Ooh. Yes. Uh, you came up with that name? Uh, well, we, we had a theme going, you know, so we kind of stuck oh, with it. Right. I, I thought it'd be quite cool to brand them, though, for, like fancy names and stuff, but... You, you kind of know what you get with a September update or an August update. You know when it comes. It, it helps the helps folks get an understanding of when when things happen. Um, 
so yeah, next week's stream, we're going to be joined by one of the game designers, uh, Patrick, and he'll be talking us through what's happening in the September update. Should be pretty cool. Yeah, that's um, going to be interesting. It's going to give, I mean, I can, I'm not going to give you any deets, but I can tell you it'll definitely give some of you who are looking more things to do in the end game, uh, or things when you've kind of done everything else, it's going to give you something to aspire to. So it should be quite fun. Looking forward to sharing it. There you go. Demerion on Twitch likes the name branding. Did good. Can we get a sneak peek? Next week. Next week is when we're showing that. Uh, being asked about what we did with Square Enix, uh, Just Cause, in fact, was uh, developed with them as publisher. Are you planning to open like a gift shop? I want to buy a Generation Zero Dala Hest. Well, as luck would have it, this Friday, watch our social media, watch our forums, watch the Steam Community Hub, watch your email inbox, I'm probably sending a newsletter out. We'll be doing a special competition where you folks can win some of these. Um, it'll be fun. I'll, I'll give you the details on Friday when I put the posts out. But it's going to be a double double whammy of competition prizes. So the plan is that we'll give you opportunity to win Dalahest, physical, nice wooden, handcrafted in Dalana. Um, so they'll they'll be part of the prize, and the top prize will in fact be able to have their entry represented in the game world in some form. But uh, more news on that will come on Friday. Very excited for the September update. Very catchy name too. Yeah, we're getting September doing the theme track for it. So, <laughs> do we really have to? <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's super good. <laughs> nice beard you got. Nice half a beard. Yeah, it's getting there. Look, look at that. Look at that. I got like chin alopecia. I need to get some uh, Rogaine on my face, but slowly cultivating it. Oh. We got we got a poggers popping up from Generation Zero game. Is that is that Matt behind the keyboard there? Um, of course, Matt, um, the other fellow you happen to see on the stream in the past, he's been away uh, spending some baby time. He's back in the office now, so you might see a sighting of him perhaps next week, week after. Uh, might be. So there he is. He's in chat there, typing away on the official Generation Zero game channel. Um, Oof, still haven't received your dial yet. Okay, Tenebri, that's something I will check out, buddy. I'll I'll ping you uh, probably tomorrow. Um, we'll see if that got lost with the post mori oh. What we got here? But I'll check that out, Tenebri. As long as you don't do a no update November. <laughs> November, November. Beard is going good, mate. I'm getting a head start on November. This is when I have to start, you see. So, uh... Hey, dev team, do you know why a lot of people do not like your game? Um, there's many things that we kind of... It's a good question. Um, there's many different ways we go about digging into feedback. Of course, Steam Reviews is a good one for us. Reading a message on social media, forum posts, streams. Uh, they're all great ways of us finding out what people would like to see different. And, of course, that's what we're working on, is uh, finding out what these concerns and needs and desires are from folks and... Improving on based on that. Oh, yeah, I'm in trouble. Have you have you only got the hunting rifle? Have you got well, I like it. Oh, Ooh, you like I it. I only got one HP left. Though. But why do you like it if you're so bad at it? Ha ha! Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Laying down the smack. Talk I'm here. done. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> you're better than me with the, with the hunting rifle. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure. You've got the RK Fira. You have real world experience of that one, so. No, I, we used the AK-5 though. Oh, you had the five. You can yeah. actually get that as well. So that is in the game. Do we got that ammo for that? We do armor piercing. There we nice. go. That's gonna do some damage. Yeah, well, oh, let's. He uh, sounds upset. Yeah. They usually are. Yeah. Will you continue the story and expand the map? So we get this question a lot. I mean, of course, expanding on the world that we created, it would be certainly something that we'd be open to. Um, watch this space. Let's take it down a little bit, actually. 
There we go. <laughs> it's funny that the first time I heard about this game was thanks to the annoying ads in the Xbox home screen. They're kind of useful after all. Well, I'm glad that you found your way to the game, Mufladso. I'm sure that our sales manager will be very happy to hear that the, uh, <laughs> that that the Xbox front out. page worked okay. Um, I'd like the Hunter's Bellow for a ringtone for my mother-in-law. <laughs> I was actually thinking, uh, just today, this morning, thinking it would be quite fun if I was to do s get some ringtones out for you folks based upon some of the Generation Series sounds. So that would be neat, actually. Uh, I will I will write, write that down right now. Uh, different kind of sound effects for phones and ringtones. I will write that down right now so I do not forget it. Because I did bounce around the idea myself when I was thinking, what cool fun stuff can we do for the community? And yes, I like that you're we're so in sync. Put the aim point on your RK fear upon this, and you've got a gun that's still in use in the Swedish army. Mm. As I say, I mean, that's the thing with these rifles. I mean, they do have a long service time. If you look at a lot of these weapons that are in use today, they like, they came in in the 60s. Um, they don't like to change them up. It's not like iPhones. Get a new rifle every uh, year. <laughs> no. <laughs> the RK fear plus. <laughs> what could be, like, 30-year life cycle, something like that? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's, that's decent, though. Yeah, yeah. Buy for life. <laughs> Buy one assault rifle, you're done for life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I bet Bidin would love a tick one. I think he might, Lars. That's where we are. Is there a reason for not having real weapon names in the game? I know the core pistol has a real name, but still, uh, licensing, burger player, a lot, of, a lot of the times. I mean, uh, you know, we'll do things inspired by or closely represented to, but. Um, a lot, a lot of times there might be licensing implications if we were to say this is this weapon that is owned by someone else. So instead we have, you know, slightly different inspired by variations. Hello Yaroslav, hello, hello. Can you include in the description of weapons which bullets they use and make life easier than you've been using weapon? Do we not do that already? Pop open the inventory. I'm not, I'm not doubting you here, but I'm sure. Well, you will get an indicator. Yeah, if, if, you hover, if you hover over the ammunition, it will flash yeah. on the weapon you want. But I guess that's not useful if you do have the gun and you want to find the ammunition for it, and you don't know That's what true. you should grab out the box. Out the box, excuse me. Option to disable friendly fire. There is no friendly fire. Uh, explosions will have an effect, but you shouldn't be able to shoot each other. Have you ever encountered two Phoenix tanks, one Phoenix harvest, and a large herd of Phoenix and military runners and hunters? That's scary when there's only two of you. Uh, I think I've seen similar live on stream on my own. It did not end well. <laughs> Is the game cross-platform? You cannot play multiplayer cross-platform, no, unfortunately. But it's it's nice to know that's of interest to you. Oh dear, it's yeah. your first tank meeting, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Do you have anything you can set up a trap with? Uh, I didn't. Yeah, you had some kind of... No, you're just going to poke him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... Boop the snoot and run away. I want a crowbar. <laughs> I gotta do Hop on his back and start popping off panels. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he better watch himself. That'd be pretty, pretty sweet. We do like a you know God of War style quick time events where you jump on the tanks back and start yanking <laughs> off panels. Yeah, it would have been nice to hack them, have them attack the other enemies. Well, you can have a skill for that, but it's very not so reliable on tanks. Obviously, they're going to be more resistant to that kind of shenanigans. So you got some explosive tanks. You got flares. Yeah. You got a grenade, in fact. I do. Will it, will a grenade take that out? Be warned. I think I have the the uh, ex the long throw perk, so you will yeet that grenade quite some distance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you keep up the, with the kids these days. Uh, yeet it off. Yes, uh, th th it's a curse of a community manager. Th this lingo like slips into your brain. You spend too much time on the internet. Any talk about weapon selection wheel and quick ammo switching? Uh, we know that you folks have won it, Andrew. Uh, it's feedback that's been passed on. Absolutely. September update, could that be some Halloween theme? Oh well, shit. Halloween is in October. Um, oh dear, that yeah. wasn't about as expected, to be fair. <laughs> it's a tank. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually blew myself up. Oh, I missed that. Okay. Yeah. Did you, uh, oh. <laughs> Apparently, one you only have three seconds. As Matt Whitey says, one does not throw anything. Things must be yeeted. Um... Does it have anything else to Need a newbie on? mode with far more infantry slots. Well, Andalito, now that we've added uh, base storage boxes, hopefully that should make things a bit easier for you. Definitely a lot more options to store things away for later use. 
Anyone working on melee or something like it? Again, Biggest, we don't talk about what we're working on until it's we feel it's time that we're ready to. So even if we were working on it, I unfortunately wouldn't say right now based upon you asking. Uh, we like to give our information when we know that the thing that we're working on is ready to go. Because that way we don't disappoint people by saying, yes, we're doing the thing and then it doesn't happen. So unfortunately we're never going to answer a hard like yes or no to is anyone working on. We're just going to go, hmm, thank you for the feedback. But uh, thank you for the feedback <laughs> and for, le for letting us know you would like to see melee. It would be certainly cool. Red Dot Sight is not fixed. It's still very slow in aiming. That will be fed back, Yaroslav. I know one of the issues was when you were crouched was the cause. We fixed that one, but perhaps there's still something else there. Pufti says hello to Pontus. Hello, Pufti. So this will be the first time that Pufti has met you. Pufti is a regular here. Yeah, nice to see you. You're a bit, I better a bit run invested because right I now. There's yeah, lots of stuff going well on. I got no heal whatsoever. And they're kind of after me. You Are need to stock up on, on more healing items. You man. need to stop burning through them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so don't put this on me, man. So Pontus is playing my save. Uh, he has done last week as well. And he's eating my health packs like candy. <laughs> <laughs> But we can. Uh, the nice thing about Generation Zero is, you know, you don't have to take the fight. You can go around them, go somewhere else, go but stock it's up. It, it's fun to kill those. Exactly. It is. It is. Mean robots. Uh, um. And you know who needs more than eight HP anyway? Indeed, indeed. Hard mode. Uh, what type of game is this? Survival shooter gathering. I mean, people like to put stuff into boxes and say this is a game like this, or this game is this game. It's hard with Generation Zero because it, it kind of touches the edges of so many different genres. I mean, we call it a uh, like one to four player co-op guerrilla survival game, is kind of what we said from the start. It's not intended to be like a hero shooter, like Call of Duty or Doom, where you're meant to run into a hail of bullets and gun things down. Yeah, it is meant I to be more... learned that the hard way. Yes. It's meant to be more methodical, which is why we call it uh, guerrilla survival. And when we say survival, it's not like the genre of survival, like punching trees and eating food. Um, it's more survival as in staying alive. And the guerrilla combat in the form of you're not looking to be a, having a head on, head on war. You should be striking and moving out, setting traps, that kind of thing. So it's hard to say what type of game it is. It's, um, and it, again, it is, of course, a lot of what you make it as well. A lot of people prefer to play it more as a... Uh, uh, I don't like that description of the genre, but walking sim style. Like, you know, just walking around the world, exploring, taking it all in. Other people do like to play it as if they're playing single-player PUBG and running around and gunning stuff. So, mm. If survival, why is it so easy? Well, some people say the very opposite. Uh, they say it's very hard. So maybe what our job is to do is to maybe look at some form of customization of difficulty. It might make sense. <coughs> Will we ever be able to enter the Kun Sam? I mean, of course, expanding on the world, uh, making more locations visible is something we'd love to do. Um... When speaking of sounds of music, and I say this again, when employing a radio boombox, a tune is always the same. Would it be fun with some variation? I think you told me this last week, David, and I did forward that to the team. Um, it does take weeks, if not months in some cases, to develop things based on feedback, but I definitely did uh, flag that request last week. Do you think we can make week. requests for songs? I mean, obviously licensed stuff is going to be an issue because... It's oh, we can just re-record them. Could we do like I a guess. Spotify plug-in or something? It just like plugs into 80s playlist on Spotify. Oh, that would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Will you add vehicles? Well, you have bikes right now. Um, we were loath to put vehicles in from the start because we don't want to create this beautiful world and then just have you just plow through it in a car. Um, and it would change a lot the way the game plays of you having a vehicle. But that's not to say that once you know you as players are more familiar with the world, you kind of explored it, you know what's what, maybe we could add vehicles to some description in the You future. know what would be nice? One of these old cycle mopeds. I know the one you mean. The yeah, ones the shelves. We call them pedal and pops. Yeah. was like the slang term in England where you kind of half pedal and then you start up this like <laughs> like being a biscuit tin uh, engine. <laughs> That would fit right in. Mm. Love to see some firework rockets in this game. <coughs> Launch from the bike. That would be fun. <laughs> Is 
The battle for the church is ongoing. Well, I'm usually afraid to go in here because they will all wait for me outside and then I'm Just stuck. Just say because you're a vampire. No? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell that. Dang it. <laughs> oh, look what I found. So, uh, of course, the last update, Generation Zero, Generation Zero was um, the Plundra, uh, safe house storage boxes. I saw someone ask earlier, and it went in my brain to answer, and then I got distracted by another question. Uh, are they meant to be at every safe house? Um, pretty much all safe houses. There's a few where they are not present. I don't know why. I'm not sure the reason why. But most safe houses, you can access your Plundra. And for those of you who don't know what Plundra is, you've been maybe not playing recently, it's new in-game in storage, um, which you can stash away your items in at safe houses, which Pontus is looking at right now. Yes. Um, I've been reading your feedback about it as well, passing it on to the team, uh, seeing some of you like like different ways of organizing it, you perhaps like more slots. Um, feedback is being passed on. Will it ever be more than four players online? Unlikely, me love milkshake. Um, we feel that four is kind of a good balance for us um, without making it too unwieldy. When is a Viking cosmetic pack coming out? Uh, no plans, but that would be oh, pretty awesome. Oh, that would be a uh, uh, bestseller, guaranteed. It would. Can I have an uh, Under Armour hoodie? Can stuff like that? Well, you could have like the modern Viking. It'd be like... Tight red pants and sports <laughs> coat. <laughs> oh, that that would be the Southern no, Viking. No, that that's the Stuart Plan Viking. It would be the, the red pants yeah, and sports coat. Yeah, hunter uh, boots. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That'd be quite funny, actually. We'd do, like, Stockholm regional outfits. You'd have, like, the yeah, Southern Wild. Loafers, yeah, no lo socks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're probably getting very, very colloquial and specific for folks who aren't actually living within Stockholm, but yeah, we're talking about local Google fashion it. trends. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm out of oh. Man bun and all, says Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd love to see that. Ah, uh, uh, you don't have any... Maybe I should go hide first. Is the difficulty of the game adjusting to the number of players and their skill? Uh, no, Martin, not at this time. A lot of the difficulty in Race Zero is based upon where you go. Um, some areas being harder than others. That is something, though, that we're, you know, bouncing around the idea of, is how do we look at different types of difficulty? Uh, can we make it scale in some respect, or provide options for you folks yourselves to set it? Uh, you know, we're thinking about various ways. No promises, but uh, we definitely have, it's in our thoughts. And beards, indeed, beards. Hey, Lonely Ranger, hello, hello. When in multiplayer, do you have access to your own stash? Is it communal? It is just for you, Tumbling Worm. It would be terrible if you had a random person who joined your game and they weren't perhaps very nice and they stole all your stuff and left. Um, why not add character sounds when taking damage? Yeah, some form of feedback uh, would be pretty, pretty neat. Ow! Ouch! Ouch! Ooh. <laughs> oh, that would get so <laughs> annoying. It would. Oh, man. Um, graphics are incredible in this game. Is the game engine the same as Mad Max from Avalanche? It is. It is the Apex uh, open world engine. It's used for, as you said, Mad Max, uh, Just Cause, um, The Hunter Call the Wild, and uh, Generation Zero, of course. Um, <coughs> and Rage, in fact. Um, Rage 2. Um, but yeah, it is an in-house developed engine. We have a dedicated engine team who uh, all they do is work on that game engine. Yeah, You'd like a peaceful mode to discover the in-game world? Yeah, uh, that could be popular actually, Tassos. A lot of people like to just take pictures and screenshots. I really love the lighting there as the, the flashing coming in, the lightning in the background. <coughs> We ever see any changes to city layouts, like additions or just general changes? It's unlikely we would retrofit existing cities because that wouldn't make sense in terms of like the game world, um, spontaneously different city arrangements. But you know, we'd definitely be open to the concept of adding new places. Um, that would be pretty cool. <coughs> does rain affect the ability of machines to detect you? Yes, it does in some respects. Uh, it will definitely muffle down their sound senses somewhat. What's the difference between the hunting rifle to the 50 cal? We get asked this one a lot, actually. 50 cal, that's the, the go-to weapon you're looking at if you want longer range engagements. It's going to have a better um, 
better damage drop off compared to the other hunting rifles. So if you're looking at heavy hitting from range. That being said, I was talking to our game designer just last week and we are looking at some tweaks and adjustments to the 50 cal because it's not behaving quite how we'd like. So watch this space for some changes there. Could you add more Easter eggs? Maybe a Terminator Easter egg? Yeah, Easter eggs are always cool to find, and I know the devs do enjoy doing that type of thing, but of course there's so much other stuff we want to do for you as well. So it's like, how much time can we dedicate doing to that fun thing that you see it and you go, that's cool, and then you run past it. <laughs> Tricky. You should get the info skill on this character so you can explain to people what sensors and machines do what. That would probably be a... a something for us to think about bigger so that's good feedback um maybe we could better explain like how machines find you because i know a lot of people are like this isn't fair the machine saw me through a wall you know it's it's not fair and actually some machines are supposed to see you through walls because they actually do have uh optics that allow them to do that so yeah maybe we could do a better job of explaining that to you in some way I don't know what that is, but someone said that it'd be really nice if the boomboxes played the Jönsson Ligon thing. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Swedish uh, Midsommar Steng is a must. Don't we have one of those somewhere? Or did I imagine it? I don't know. Uh, optimized urban uh, performance. FPS drops very much. Uh, Sliff. Uh, optimization is something we do on an ongoing basis. Every update we do will always sort of dig into that in some way or another. So absolutely, we're on board there. More missions. So... I mean, the core things you could probably expect to see in this type of game as we work towards adding more content would be weapons, machine types, missions, places to explore. These would be all kind of the core bread and butter things we'd probably think about. Um, of course, up until now, we've been very much focused on bug fixing. <coughs> but we feel that we've made a lot of progress since launch in uh, fixing up those pesky bugs. So you will start to see a lot more like, content-related stuff coming out. Give it some Pontus. Yeah. We'll see. Last time I got stuck in here forever. Oh. Uh, where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh. Don't run away. Oh, nice. That's a good thing, though, if he's running away, because then you can get those squishy bits in the back. <coughs> Graham, can you explain this short? How does it work if you guys keep adding more violent content, dead models, blood, and so on, without the Peggy 12 being a problem? Um, can I explain it short? Yes, we can't add too much. I mean, we can't add, you know, limbs flying off or, you know, chests exploding and that kind of thing. There are so I can't really explain to you the whole Peggy system and e what each boundary will allow, because even for us as devs, a lot of time it's it's a sort of squishy kind of scale. Um, and, you know, how a game is graded takes into account multiple things. So all I can say is that, yes, it's something we have to think about. And that's the reason why you're not going to see, like, gore and of, you know... Like, if you think, what was it? Soldier of Fortune yeah, was a game we used to play growing up. Yeah, oh, yeah things like that. You're never going to see that generation through. But I, I enjoyed wow, that game. Wow, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a real throwback. I can imagine, actually, if I look back at it now, the, like, the gore just consists of cubes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... But yeah, it's a consideration for us, definitely, and what kind of things we can add. Why don't you guys just put the age 16? Because the simple fact is we are, of course, uh, a business, and we want as many people as possible to be able to play our game. Um, the, the higher up the age range you go, the smaller your potential player base is going to be. So, of course, some games, they can do great on having a rated R version and that kind of thing, but this is what we felt was right for the game. And we've, we don't feel that we lose anything by not having, you know, gore all over the place. Um, it's just simply not that kind of game, I guess. Yeah, and in this game, what y you you're gonna have bleeding machines? Indeed, yes. Well, it could be motor oil, I guess. Yes. Not and that also gory, um, though. Sorry. Not that gory, though. No, oil. I mean, that's how they get around it in some regions. Is you know, let's make the humans zombies or machines. Because that was gonna be my next point. Is it's a global game, of course. We sell the game all around the world, and each region has their own different requirements and needs. Some some cultures are more sensitive to others about certain things. So. Yes. Do I remember you? Yes, I do, uh, Walid. Well, Marun Walid. I do remember your name. Hello. Are you planning on making masks more effective? Asking for a friend. I mean, gas masks are never meant to be a one-shot, you're immune type deal. In a lot of games, they do do that. They say, you have a gas mask on, you're immune to gas. But gas doesn't work like that. 
a lot of gases, they don't harm you necessarily by breathing in. Skin contact, that kind of thing is a, well, you know, you're in the military, so um, it, it's a big, it's an important factor. So yeah. for they us, it's a mitigator, but you're still going to take some damage. They actually put us in a gas chamber just to try it out. And mm. yeah, even though you have a gas mask, it's going to hurt you a lot. Yeah. Sorry, what do we need in capital letters? I missed what that context was. Um... Ever think of adding human NPCs and animals to the game to expand the story? These human NPCs don't have to be of Sweden, but instead outside of Sweden. NPCs would be cool. Uh, certainly would. It's another way for us telling a story of the world. I mean, a lot of what you see now, it's based on exploration and what you find. Perhaps in the future, it might be neat to have some form of NPCs added if, and, you know, story to make it make sense, perhaps. Was there anyone else here? Did you see that? What was asked a billion times? Let me see. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I can't guarantee to answer everything that is posted on here due to the fact that I am talking to YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and Mixer all at the same time, so it can get a little bit complex. So apologies if I miss questions. Craftable explosives will be huge for this. That be certainly would be n neat. Nate? Hmm? <laughs> Hello, I'm new to the channel and new to the game too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How do you just try out a gas chamber? What the heck? Well, you know, it's normally uh, CS gas. Or yeah, uh, no, it was tear gas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they basically they put us in a, this little small red cabin. And then they fired off the gas. Yeah. I guess. Oof. This was a long time ago, though. I yep. don't know if they do that anymore. Still, tear gas is kind of harmless, I guess, but it hurts a lot. Yes. Especially the military grade. Yeah. Not that I have experience with any other tear gas, but no. still. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think that's quite common in uh, military or police forces, fire brigade, that kind of thing sometimes as well. Yeah, it's a very it quick out. lesson in how your PPE works, you know. <laughs> wow, is that how many? Are you just went, them. You just went YOLO straight yeah. into four hunters. <laughs> Pontus <laughs> does not mess about people. <laughs> Well, they haven't met me before. They are the ones who no. should be running. They, they haven't met this uh, tactics. Well, you got 810 rounds of ammunition. Jeez, I left you in a good state yeah, there. Yeah, you I? did. What's the game called? As in what we're playing now, this is Generation Zero. It's a one to four person co-op. Uh, we call it guerrilla survival game. Um, not survival like the game genre, but more survival as in you're trying not to die. <laughs> and Gorilla, due to the combat style, we're, it's it's very much hit and run. You don't, like Pontus is doing right now, you know, he's doing some damage, he's backing off, going back in again. You don't want to be taking a face-to-face -face, like gunfight as if you're playing Doom or uh, Rage, one another round of launch title. Uh, here it definitely pays you to be more, uh, you know, strike, retreat, strike, set up traps, that kind of thing. Nah, forget about them. I'll come back for you later. And that, of course, is a valid tactic. You know? Oh, nice. Guerrilla combat game is nice. Glad you think so. Um, and yeah, so as I said, it's totally valid. You think, like, you know, what do I gain by destroying these hunters right now? It's a great way to get ammunition, because they do carry some goodies. But you're pretty good for ammunition right now, so you might as well just uh, carry on about your business. Yeah, pay and spray. Hmm? you not have the relevant no, stuff. No, I think I need to get barcodes, I guess. Yeah. You need to get them barcodes. Is it like a battle royale or single player? It's, it's, it's definitely not a battle royale. <laughs> a lot of people did very early say, hey, I make this a battle royale, it looks so good. Uh, it's You can play it between one to four people. So you can play solo, or you can play with friends, or online matchmaking. Um, and it's primarily PV based, there's no PVP. Wow, these... Uh, yeah, they're really mad now. They are mad. You s you've grenaded yourself with that grenade you had earlier, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's a shame. <laughs> it's very refreshing how you guys communicate with the community. Speaking for myself, I'm so grateful for all the hard work that you and your team has done. Here's the further success for you guys. Well, thank you, Mr. Dreads. We do really try nice. our best, yes. And of course, we do value the community very much, uh, which is why Pontus is here now. More, more community for the people. Yes. Um, we very much care about what you folks say, and we love the streams because we get to talk to you uh, real time. 
You gotta kill more machines, my dude. Get them barcodes. Yeah, unfortunately, he's got some very big angry machines on him at the moment. It's the thing with the the you know Altamatkeva Fiera is it's hard to be surgical with your hits. You kind of just have to unload the ammo into them. How long are you gonna work on GZ? We don't have an end date. Um, you know, we're we're happily adding more and more stuff to it as time goes on. We haven't got a hard date, whereas this is it, we're not doing any more. Um, we have plans for quite some time yet. Oh, this is some good. I think uh, I will take all of them with only two HP left. I don't think so. I keep talking about destructive environment because when I see machines glitch into trees and objects, it ruins the experience for me. So in that situation, we look about how do we fix that. You know, we either fix the machines being stuck in the environment or we add destructive environment. The problem we would think is the solution, of course, is to stop the machines glitching into trees. That would be the way we go about addressing that. Um, add it, we, again, I think I had this discussion with you last week. Something like full destruction environment is a massive, massive undertaking and unlikely, but we absolutely will look at it so that the machines don't glitch at all. That's the that's the problem we need to solve right there. So definitely we'll work on that. You think you guys will add more levels higher than 31, uh, Callum? It's potentially something we can look at, uh, for sure. Um, you know, more progression, different types of progression, definitely an option for us. How many have you taken out now? You did do Three. pretty good. You yeah, pretty good. yeah. And you said... That I last one you took it. with like two hit points left, so uh, you're doing well. I've been practicing at home. Then add a better... You don't, you don't add better AI while it you, you develop with a lot of time and a lot of effort better AI but of course that is something we were working on absolutely Graham people ask for more levels every stream at least three times the thing is Pufty because people want to have everything and even if we did add more levels we would never make it so you could have everything uh, we do like you'll find that in a lot of games there you go get those yeah, good old barcodes all of them um, we like you to have to make choices you know uh, you shouldn't be able to just be able to do everything, be a one-man army. We do like to uh, sort of incentivize specialization. Um, but that being said, we do know that uh, more uh, so, so attention to progression, perhaps, is what we're looking to say there. And yeah, as Matt's saying there on the official channel, balance will get broken if you can unlock everything. And often, you know, we, again, we, as you can tell, by the way, we've been doing our updates, we very much listen to what you folks are saying. But in some cases, it's good not to. <laughs> um, in some certain points, of course, um, it's it's sometimes what you're asking for. We might think that okay, so you want this. How do we go about doing this in the best way? And it might be that the way that we think up is perhaps a better version of what you're asking. So, you know, although we might say no, we're not going to just do this thing. We might instead think of an equally or better awesome thing that you will do instead. So watch this space. We will, you know. We definitely are, are listening to that feedback loud and clear that you'd like to see some uh, some form of changes to the way your skill points and stuff works. Could oh you guys no. invite me with some Gord Fika if I come by the office? Unfortunately, Yaroslav, the office is not an open environment. As much as we love our fans, uh, it's not really a hangout kind of place. But uh, we definitely would be nice with some Fika, though. Yeah, Fika is always nice. Mm. We actually have had a very very kind fan did send the office Fika one day. Oh, um, I love that. Mm. Princess Torta is my favorite, if anyone's wondering. Prin wink, I, I wink. do like Princess Torta. <laughs> yeah. Do you have that in England? No. Uh, Stealth Keller says, I haven't played for months and I've only done three main missions, yet I have no mission marks at all. It's a bug. So, Stealth Killer, if you've come into the game after not playing some time, we did... Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. We did two very large updates. Um, one was addressing main missions, the other was addressing side missions, and those large updates would have cleared your mission log. So I'd suggest tracking back to places you've previously seen and picking up those missions again. Uh, it is a one-time thing that in order to fix a bunch of problems, you have to clear the logs. Ah. Once you get them, you won't lose them. You're doing good, Pontus. Yeah, I am, Jace. but I'm, I want to take them with just... I don't want to use up all your... It's fine, it's yours. Oh, thanks. What's mine is yours. Uh, I kind of want the I just want to see you beat machine invasion. I I'm happy to lend you my resources. Oh, thanks, man. I'll let you play on my save as well. Mm -hmm. 
I get it, sure. Levels after 30, maybe treat us some prestige. Obviously, it's hard to level reaching that one more skill boy. It won't be so much rewarding. Again, Puff D, I think for us, we'd rather look at it in a bigger picture overall. Like, you know, what's the goals? What, what, rather than listening, hearing, we want more levels, we'd probably look at it as game designers. Like, what's the need that you folks are wanting us to fill by us adding more levels? Is it because you want more customization? Maybe we need to add more customization. Uh, just saying give more levels would would be a very quick, short, easy way of doing things, but we'd probably like to look more into it in a bigger picture, put it that way. Oh, there you go. This. That's the one you know and love. So what of your items am I going to drop? We have tons of 32 ACP ammunition. Yeah, I think you could probably drop some of that. <laughs> Uh, Marin Wallet, we are we are definitely aware of uh, what the AI needs to be doing, and we are 100% working on that. Do not worry about that at all. Um, you know, we're making improvements for every update we do, and AI is always touched upon. I think in some some manner or another in every update we do, it's only going to get better and better. Oh, you didn't have an ammo for that, I guess. Oh no, you just picked up the firearm so far. Yeah. yeah. So well, you need too to bad. I'm going to use the gun. Yes. The handgun. Uh, how about another tier of machines? Biddy Mage, of course. Uh, extra tiers of machines, maybe more whole new ma machine archetypes. That would be pretty cool. Current goals of the team. Uh, we had the similar question to that at the start of the stream, and I said I'm not going to answer anything yet because we should hopefully have some more in-depth news coming out in the near future uh, where we'll talk a bit more about what our direction is. But we can say, up until now, of course, a lot of it has been about bug fixing. Uh, primarily, it's about improving that core base game experience. Whereas now we feel we're in a very, very good position. We put a lot of work into fixing bugs and improving the general state of the game. Now we're at the point where we can start to think about maybe we need to add more stuff for you to do, or you know, expanding stuff that is there already. Um, so that's probably the kind of thing you're going to start to see in coming months is more content added to the game. Let's say. I like the love that Dev's been giving the game, though. I can appreciate the effort going into fixing it. Well, thank you, Stealth Killer. And it's, you know, definitely tons of effort going into it, that's for sure. Um, without a doubt. Out the stack feature. Yeah, that I would enjoy as mm. well, I can tell you. Yes. Uh, I think as Paul, our uh, prog donor, you've seen him in here a few times, American chap. Um, He's definitely said as well, uh, inventory management of various types of things to do with inventory management is definitely on our list of things to look at. How are you still alive at one hit point? I die so fast in this game. He's like Neo. Yeah, I'm you a pro. You just dodge bullets. I'm a pro. I wish. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> the tick just noped yeah. out of there. <laughs> He's like, I've heard of this Pontus fella. <laughs> Stories yeah, have been told around hey. the machine campfires at night of Pontus the Destroyer. Yeah, no pressure though. <laughs> so it took me like nine clips to get him. Any more missions coming? Uh, Linus, again, as I said earlier, we're never going to hard say yes or no to these type of questions until we feel we would be at a time where we're ready to do so. Um, and that time, when it comes, I would already tell you before you even asked the question. So, yes, missions would make sense that we'd add to this type of game as time goes on, but we can't say yes or no, like when or if we're working on them right now. We we'd rather give you the information when we have it solid and we're at a good position to release stuff. That way, we don't create disappointment if we happen to jump into a development hurdle or something. So, are these military ticks two shots or one? Uh, well, they all have extra armor plating, so I guess it depends if you dodge around them on plating. I think you can still one-shot them if you get lucky. Oh, that one has a shotgun. Do some hunter leg removal. Love the audio design of the game. So two big thumbs up to the guys in the audio department. Thank you, Kongsley, and we've had lots of really great feedback yeah, about audio really in general. Yeah, they're really good at what yeah. they're doing. Oh! Ripper Rooney! That's what you get with one hit point stood <sighs> next to an explosive. But I was standing like... <laughs> I did exactly the same thing two streams ago. It was a big bang. 
Got to go. Just want to mention my brothers and I play this every weekend and absolutely love it. Blemishes and all. And we look forward to every new update. Keep up the excellent work. Well, thank you, Martin. And, you know, all we can do to promise to you is make sure that your weekend gaming session with your brothers improves with every update that we do. Probably already asked the vehicle bike spawner. Any future plans, different vehicles? Nothing to comment on right now. Again, uh, well, we'll never, we'll never give you a hard yes or no on future plans. Rather, it's a case of we we'll just take your feedback on board. Um, we, we of course know what we're working on, um, but it's not something we want to tell you folks too soon because again if we tell you too soon and then we have a development road bump that pops up and things get delayed it's better to pleasantly surprise you than it is to disappoint you so we're never going to hard answer is this thing coming are you working on instead we'll just take all your feedback on board and promise you that we will always be making stuff that you folks want to see all right look at this got some ammo now um, small windows and fences are already destructible, Valid. If you look at the white picket fences outside houses, they definitely can be flattened. Been away from the game for a month or two. Can I equip my OPV yet? Um, okay, there was an issue way back where if you equipped those, um, you know, high-tech vision scopes that they would cause you a crash, you can definitely equip them now. Yes, it's fine. <laughs> We're still in a lot of changes if you haven't been playing for a month or two, Combo Lab. I uh, definitely recommend you get in and try it out. Oh, you hit the mother load there. Nice. Yeah, now we're going to blow s something up. Try not to blow myself up this time also. Yeah, that would be wise. Hopefully. Well, keep up the good work, says Ulf. This game is wonderful. Well, thanks for the, thanks for you. It's nice you feel that way, Ulf. I mean, of course, us as devs and you as the community, you're always going to be critical in some respects. You want to see more, better, and we're exactly the same. And we're, we're really, really um, hyped ourselves about what we feel we can do with this game as we continue developing more and more. Right, look what we found. Bunkers are boring in this game, and not in just empty corridors. That's kind of how a bunker is. Um, of course, we do try and spice it up by adding machines and things to them. Uh, what would you What would you like to see in bunkers? Uh, new perforator. Always happy to hear thoughts and feedback. You hit the mother load when you get two or three stacks. Well, yes, but I'm just talking about at the stage we are now. <laughs> Any thoughts on making the game cross-platform? I think we mentioned that a couple of streams ago as well. There's lots of moving parts to making that happen, you know, talking to our different partners and getting things in sync. And it's definitely something that would be awesome. We'd love to see it happen. Uh, question is, how quickly could we make it happen? Is it realistic? We're not sure. But it's definitely something we'd open to the idea of. Yes. Idea about machines that are close to death charging you and self-destructing. That would be pretty neat. Dangerous. It would be very dangerous. Haven't found any adrenaline in about three weeks of playing while they're removed. No, Nate, but that's interesting feedback. Uh, if you feel that the spawn rate could be better. Um, I know that we've been picking them up. I don't know if have we seen you pick any up today in the stream. I'm not sure. Um, adrenaline shots? Yeah. No. Nope. How many have you got in your infantry right now? How many have you got? You've you got you five. You've been using a bunch. <laughs> Okay. I just one, um, maybe two. Of course. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that bad. No. I'm not saying you're bad. You know, it's it's a resource. <laughs> it's a resource. You use the resource. Um, of course, Adrenaline Shots has received some attention in a few updates, actually. You know, we uh, boosted them, then we tweaked them down, then boosted them again. It's, it's that kind of item where it can really make or break how the game feels to play. Can um, you explain that? Did you, like, increase the start HP, or what did you do? Or just the spawn rate of them. Oh, because, right, right. of course, if you have a ton of Adrenaline p Shots, yeah, it's not gonna be that you're fun. basically immune because you just get up every time. It's like Chumbawamba. Yeah, I get and that's down, not the point, you know. And I get up again. <laughs> yeah. So that's the song I want on the on the boom boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Make it happen. Yeah. Um got to talk to Peter. So yeah, balancing is tricky. It shouldn't be intended that you should be able to always spawn exactly where you died every time. You should meant to be able to sometimes, you know, restock, yeah. come back from a safe house. So but not getting them at all, that's definitely something we should look at if that is a thing. Uh we will get that looked at.
Will the sun ever rise? In this stream, Andalito, probably not. It does take quite some time for the day-night cycle to go through, which I actually appreciate because I know I play some games. It's so jarring that in the space of 15 minutes, it goes daylight, daylight. Um, yeah. Chumba Wamba, why did you put that song in my head? I'm so <laughs> sorry. Instead, we'll go with Baby the Shark. Oh, do, do, come on. Do, do baby shark. <laughs> Not cool, man. Oh, man. This is how we lose all of our followers immediately. Sorry. No. Uh, command Bank and Network Mission will not complete, even though I could all the official missions don't want to restart the game again. Uh, uh, Ron Frey on Facebook is asking that. Uh, if you contact us at, at support.generationzero.com, we'll probably ask you if you're safe file, and then we can dig into that and see what the cause is. Uh, but we definitely love to help you with that. So again, support.generationzero.com. Uh, please get in touch with us there, and we'd love to try and help you with that. No, trees are not destructible. Um, but I think you knew the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> you missed the mullet. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make up for it with my chin instead. It's going to be a slow process. Uh, after the plunger update, you can see flying bushes in some cities. Uh, yes, burger player. These kind of out of place assets. Always, you, don't, you don't have to spam your question multiple times, by the way. Please don't do that. Um, floating assets are something that we kind of squish them as we find them. Um, so apologies for that when you see them, but we do always do our best to remove them. They don't need to, Walid. The, nothing is needed, <laughs> but let, let us know what you'd like to see. Like, w what, what would you feel would be the benefit of this? And then us as game devs will go, hmm, you'd like to see this thing. How can we make this happen in a cool way? Or I always think that the need word is very, <laughs> yeah, I don't like very it. absolute. I'd love to see, or this would be cool, but need? Hmm. The thing is that we think about when we hear so folks say we need something is we do have a community which is very large and with a lot of people with a lot of opinions, a lot of people that need different things. So uh, we often try and think of the big picture there. Have you got any uh, like fuse boxes lying around the streets you might be able to use to your advantage? I wonder. Is um, that one there? Too? No, it's a brick wall. Didn't okay. see anything, but they're no. running away now. They're oh. running away. They didn't see where yeah, you went. Yeah, they just oh, want to blow me up. The buddy us. did. Oh. Okay. Well, now I'm glad for those adrenaline shots. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Graham. You guys are doing great. Love the game and cannot wait for more. Well, glad to hear it. And again, the issue you're having, please do get in touch with support and we will do our best to help you out there. If from your perspective, if you do add human NPCs, would you do dialogue trees with the like with Bethesda Fallout and Elder Scrolls or just quests and upgrades like Ubisoft's Far Cry or both? Hard to say, Friedrich. Of course, we haven't mentioned or talked about any uh, anything to do with NPCs yes, yet. Um, but if you were to do NPCs, I guess, as you, as you outlined there, there are various ways we could go about doing it. Who knows? We'll see. Worst cooking stream ever. <laughs> I would say yes, as far as cooking streams go, this would be a terrible one. Not very good at cooking. Oh, maybe we should try it out sometime. Yeah, we should do that. We do can I make like waffles. Do some Swedish or meals. Yeah. Waffla, we do like Falikov macarona. Like yeah. something really typical from the 80s. Well, actually, we threw away that giggle uh, as a joke, actually. If you look around the houses, of course, the setting of this game is set in the case where people have just disappeared overnight, like at their tables. So you do see meals around, which are representations of quite common meals. You see like blood pudding with lingon and that kind of thing. So mm, maybe we could do yummy. cooking with Generation Zero. Let's <laughs> make that happen. <laughs> All right, I kind of like this gun actually. Yep. If there are no new locations or missions, then there is nothing to do in the game. New perforator again. Uh, I kind of covered that a little bit earlier, but. A lot of the past few months of development has been solely focused on improving what's there now. We feel that we've done a lot of progress with that, so now we're going to start thinking more about adding more things for you to do. Uh, so don't worry, we recognize that you folks would like to see more content. I mean, some of you out there have been playing and you've had no bugs at all to think of, and you're just like, give me some more stuff, and we're definitely going to start approaching more stuff now. I've noticed the low spawn rate of Meds and Adrenaline, though seriously, all the past bugs and glitches aside, this game is giving me something to play again, especially with the market flooded with garbage. Well, uh, thanks for the feedback. We're glad that you are enjoying our game, and it's only, only to continue getting bigger and better over time. 
Oh, this uh, was a nifty guy climbing the stairs. Regards to the issues, I know you're busy fixing this. Curious if there will be another game from you devs later in the years. Uh, on an organization level, um, yeah, I mean, Avalanche Studios will definitely be wanting to make more games in the future. But of course, the Generation Zero team is very much focused on Generation Zero right now. May I hope they build this one, build up out this one, maybe up to the whole planet. Yeah, next up, Denmark. Well, I think I kind of more want to say Norway then. Yeah, Brussing Norway. About I, snow, I guess you know, depends if we go out from uh, geographically. You show that dirt who's boss. <laughs> the ticks are crazy, aren't they? Oh! That one is doing another... Oh. Yeah, I can also jump, little friend. I do find that going after ticks, it's almost better doing it with pistols. It, it, you can be, like, more precision. Yeah. I find that when I have the automatics, I'm, I'm, I'm too tempted just to unload. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. you tend to not aim as much. Yes, that's probably it. Oh, nice. So, go. on that note, we'll see. Does Pontus survive the house? We will see. Ne we won't see next week, actually, because next week we're going to show you cool stuff coming in the September update. So, that does wrap us up for this stream. Uh, can we have some set of skins and outfits of the team? Graham has to have the wig. I would love <laughs> to see that in the game. Play it. Play as me. Life goals. No. Um, that does wrap up the stream for today. Thank you, Pontus. You've been a beast today, I will oh, say. Thanks I will a lot. Say. Thanks I a know, lot. Uh, uh, you have the, the game of Smack Talk going on, but you, you have uh, kicked some machine butt. Thank you all for joining. It's yeah, been a blast. Thank you, guys. Next week's stream, again, tune in. Uh, we're going to have one of our game designers, myself, Pontus, and we'll be talking through what's going to be coming with the September update. It's going to be nice. It is. So thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Yeah, stay out of trouble. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.